to apply for SSS number and submit documentary requirements online. Don't have SSS number yet? Don't worry. You can apply for SS number online and immediately get it after you filled out the form. Likewise, you can submit your supporting documents online as well. Learn with us the step-by-step -step process on how to register online. First, open your browser and type www.sss.gov.ph on your browser's tab. Click the Apply for an SSS number online picture on the middle part of the page. Click the bottom panel No SS number yet? SS number online application, apply now. Second, click the here link to proceed. Third, read the step-by-step -step guide first to and then click start. Fourth, encode all required fields in the phase one of the registration process. Make sure to input correct information and you are using an active email. Tick the box beside I am not a robot then click the small box below it to certify that the encoded information is true and correct. Click Submit. Fifth, the applicant will receive an email directing to the Phase 2 of the registration process. To proceed, click the link you received and the link will open a new tab and will redirect you to Phase 2 registration process. You have 5 days to complete the application before the link expires. Once the link is already expired, you have to undergo Phase 1 again of the registration. Sixth, Accomplish the Phase 2 by encoding all additional required information. Make sure to type in the correct address and contact information, as well as your preferred user ID for your MySSS account and UMITATM details. Review all details thoroughly and then click the Proceed button. 7. The applicant shall be asked to choose and upload one supporting documents for the tagging of SS number to application through the web, with submitted documents. 8. Select one type of supporting document and upload the file requested. Once uploaded, click Submit, attach readable colored images or PDF with maximum file size of 2 MB only. 9. If the applicant chooses to proceed with the registration without submitting any documentary requirement, a notification box will appear informing the member that the submission of documents may be done through the MySSS account, which shall be created after securing an SS number. Click Yes then Submit. 10. The applicant can now print or download the E1 and or E6 form, transaction number slip and SS number slip. 11. The applicant will receive two emails, one confirming the SS number online application and another containing the password set up at the member's MySSS account. Twelfth, After clicking the link, the member shall encode the last six digits of his or her CRM or SS number to activate his or her MySSS account. Lastly, the member shall encode preferred password and then confirm it. Click the Submit button to continue. That's all. Congratulations! Your SSS account is now created. Here is the list of ADIS or documents accepted as a supporting document to your SSS number application. Primary Supporting Document In the absence of the birth certificate, any of the following documents will do. In the absence of the previous ID cards and documents, any two of the following both with the correct name and at least one with date of birth. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like. Subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon for more video updates like these.